right, friends, thanks so much for joining me back here today. We're going to go ahead and look at striking an arc. How does that work? What do you need to do to be successful? All right, so before we do that, let's refresh our safety equipment. You have eyeglasses, safety glasses all the time. You got your cap in here. You have a hood. You have, I like to wear this nice apron that keeps my hands from getting slag and sparks on them. Then you have a jacket and gloves. Gotta have all that stuff to be safe when you're welding. So once you got all your gear on and you're gonna go ahead and start striking arcs, you got your metal, you have your stinger. We'll put a new fresh electrode in here. And you got your machine set up right and turned on. So it might not turn on yet. It'll hum when you turn it on. You'll hear that. I want there to be clear communication here so I won't turn it on yet. So when you get ready to strike an arc, there are some positions you need. So we have a work angle and we have a travel angle. The work angle is where you're at in position this way. Okay? So if I see in here, it'd be this way. I'm going to be 90 degrees right over that path that I want to make. So I'm right down 90 degrees. I'm not angled this way. I'm not angled this way. I'm 90 degrees. If I was here, I'd be straight up and down here. Not like this, not like that, okay? Now we have a travel angle. So this is a work angle. Travel angle is gonna be tipped about 10 degrees. Just 10 degrees, okay? And so if I'm like this, I'm 90 degrees, tipped 10 degrees the way I'm traveling. You will drag your stick. When we stick weld, you drag it, okay? So here's my work angle, 90 degrees, travel angle, tipped about 10 degrees. When I go and get ready to strike an arc, I'm gonna use two hands to hold my, my stinger here, get real close, then I'm going to drop my hood. Now you see how I didn't touch it. I didn't have to touch my hood at all. On the sides, I'm gonna set this down for a second. On the sides of your helmet, you have these little, little screws here. You can adjust those and make them really loose to where that helmet won't stay up. But you, there's a sweet spot in there where it's tight enough to stay up, but when you nod your head, it'll tip down, okay? So just a little head nod, it'll tip down. That's what you want, so when you're, see I'm right there on that spot. When you get ready to go, you don't have to get ready and then move, then move your hand and bring your helmet down. You just get right close and then nod your head. Okay, not quite there. I need a little bit tighter. So you get close, nod your head. Now, that is when you can start striking. Okay, so now to actually strike an arc, here's what I teach my students. I teach them to pretend like they have a really long match, like they're gonna light the grill. And we get down here really close, and then you, with your wrist, you flick your wrist, okay? Because many students that like to come down and they're fishing for it, they can't see it, and they just stick it right there. And it sticks, and they're frustrated. So, get real close, nod your helmet, and then flick it, like this and you're fishing for it once you strike that arc then you can go back over that arc strike you just made and then you start your movement once you got that going then you can continue to weld okay well we'll see if we can start this up and i'll show you how it looks okay i got my welder on i'm ready i've got my hood facing i've got my ground clamp clamped on here my metal rear I'm gonna get down close, drop my hood, and start moving my wrist to find it. Okay, so you see 
see how it didn't want to stay lit? Even when I had a connection, it did not want to stay lit. This happens often to students. So what happened is I am way low on my setting. So it's not providing enough amperage to keep that thing lit and it sticks it. If you're having this trouble, go ahead and shut your welder off, turn it up, then you can start better. Now, so now we will do the same thing. We'll strike our arc, we'll get close, strike it like a match, and then start our movement, and I'll, I'll, I have way hotter, so we'll see what that looks like. Thank you. 